Creative Fabrica has an awesome tool called Studio, Creative Fabrica Studio. Here I can move designs around, I can change background colors, I can create all sorts of really cool illustrations and designs in Creative Fabrica Studio. You may notice on the top left, there's a Spark AI button and you may be wondering what it does and how it works. So in this video, I'm gonna offer up some tips specifically about Spark AI, which is the artificial intelligence tool inside of Creative Fabrica. Let's jump in. Okay, if you've never heard of Creative Fabrica or Creative Fabrica Studio, make sure to check out the link in the video description below. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link and that just means if you click on the link and you wind up purchasing Creative Fabrica or any of the assets therein, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend Creative Fabrica. I've been using them for years and I'm a very proud ambassador of the brand. Okay, let's jump into the first AI tip, which is the interface. So on the left-hand side in your menu, you're gonna see Spark AI. When I click on it, you're gonna get this three button menu at the top and they don't really tell you what they are. So I'm gonna walk through this. There's a little magic wand, a little illustration, and then this magic pen tool. I recommend you click on the first one. The first one is the background remover. And then the second one is an opportunity to generate an image. We can see down here below, I've got a samurai cat, Renaissance style portrait of an astronaut in space. So if when I click on it, it'll populate now into my design. I can make it larger, I can rotate it, I can do all sorts of neat stuff with it. The third option is called free text. So if you're not sure which one you're using and you're just clicking in the image, so you click right here and you're not sure, just click on the first one, the little magic wand, and you'll see the names are gonna pop up. Background remover, generate image, and free text. Okay, let's talk about this first tool, which is the background remover. It's pretty easy to use, but there is a very big troubleshooting piece that you may run into if you're not careful. So I'm gonna open up a file here just by clicking in the middle. It says add file, I'm gonna click it. And now here I've got my cyberpunk skull design and it's gonna remove the background and it does an excellent job of removing the background considering how detailed the background was. Now here's the problem. How do you get this into your actual template. So when I click on Spark AI and I go to my background remover, it's here. I can't copy it, it won't work. I can't select all, that won't work. Well, the secret is to zoom out your view. So look down on the bottom right-hand side, you're going to see a little magnifying glass, a little plus and a minus. If I click minus, it's going to make my design smaller, okay? But I don't wanna do that. I wanna hold down the control key in the mouse wheel. I wanna actually zoom out on my web browser. So that means if you're using Mozilla or G Google Chrome, you wanna zoom out the view and you'll notice now there's a button there at the bottom. Now you can save and place on the canvas and that will stick my design now on the canvas. And I can make it bigger, I can rotate it, I can do all sorts of weird, wild stuff with it. So I'd like to walk through a little troubleshooting that you may run into here. I'm gonna go into my uh, photos option here on the left-hand side, and I'm gonna look for photos. I'm gonna pick the lion here right at the top. Now, how can I remove the background from this lion photo? There isn't a direct way to do it right here. There's no background removal tool here. And if I click on Spark AI, and I go to the first option, which is background remover, I have to add the file. So when I click on photos, it disappears in the back into the canvas. So I'm gonna show you a quick workaround on this. What you wanna do in this case is download this as a file. So I'm gonna go up here to the top to the three horizontal bars and I'm gonna click on download. From here, I'm gonna click the download option. It's going to give me an option to remove the background. I'm gonna say yes. And now I'm gonna download this as a PNG file. There's my PNG file. Now that I've saved it, I'm going to remove out the lion from my template here. I'm gonna go into Spark AI. I'm gonna click on the first option, which is background remover. And now I'm gonna simply add in my PNG file. And here's my PNG file that I've uploaded. And now I've got the lion here and I can save and place it on the canvas. There it is there. Now I can also crop this if I want. So you'll notice the tops and the bottoms uh, might be blank. Here's a little crop feature right at the top. I click on that, I'm gonna say, landscape, that gives me an option I can go wide. I'm gonna click on wide. So now I've cropped it and that looks great. You can also manually crop this as well. I'll just leave it as original and then I can just bring this up. 
I can move this in. The left side moves it and the right and the top moves it. So you can manually crop it a little bit. So that's fine because I've got the background removed so it doesn't really matter. But now I can move this around, I can make it bigger. You can also expand it right off the screen too. So if you've got a bit of space up at the top, don't stress too much because it is a clear background because I saved it as a PNG file. The next thing I wanna cover is the second option inside of Spark AI. It's this generate image option. So when I click on generate image, you're going to see a paragraph here and what I recommend is read it because it says, for example, 8K resolution, vivid, beautiful lighting, beautiful, dreamy, render, contrast. There's lots of different keywords and I would recommend you hit this little randomized prompt button. It's like a refresh button and it will make another one. Renaissance style painting of a floating island, detailed sea, palm trees. So I would recommend two things. One, click the refresh button that will randomize the prompt and give you ideas. And then secondly, actually create the image and then see what comes up. And we can see down below, we've got two images here. I'm gonna click on the lower one. I'm just picking one here at random. I'm gonna make it nice and big and check that out. So now I can compare what I'm seeing to what the text prompt is. Renaissance style painting of a floating island, detailed sea, palm trees. Interesting, and that will give me ideas over the long run on how I can actually create really good AI illustrations because it's all about the text. The other thing I wanted to point out is there's different styles down below that you can do as well. So what I would recommend is have a fun little game where you can type in something really basic. So for example, I'm gonna type in raccoon and then I'm going to create the image. And we can see there's a raccoon image. I'm just gonna make that a bit bigger so you can see it, not too bad. But now I'm gonna choose the style. I'm gonna choose illustration. And you'll see it populates right there at the top. Now I'm gonna click create image. And we can see down below, there's different styles now being generated. This is an illustration of a raccoon. I'm going to try this one more time, but I'm gonna select the coloring page icon. And when I do that, you'll see it pops up with coloring page black and white. Now I'm gonna click the create image button. So the key here is to run through the same keywords and simply see what the different styles will give you. That way you don't need to get too stressed out about your keywords. You can also use the styles. The combination of the styles and the keywords can make the AI tool really, really powerful and a lot of fun. The third thing to look at is over on the right, it says free text. And when I click on that third option, I'm gonna get a very similar idea, but it's not going to have the same styles as the middle option, which is the different illustration styles. So I'm just gonna click on the free text. And again, I'm gonna click on the refresh button so I can see a bunch of different ideas that come up. These are just examples, but you can see how detailed some of them are. When I click create image, We'll see that in this case, Gothic painting of an ancient castle at night with a full moon, gargoyles, and shadows. We'll see that it's created pretty good illustrations. And in this case, you get four per cycle versus two, but you don't have the option to do the different styles. So this is where the actual text comes in a little bit more important because you really have to paint a picture with words rather than relying on the different art styles. I'm really happy with the way that looks. You'll see there's no gargoyles presented. So you do need to check out when you're working with AI, you're not always gonna get what you want. So you may have to tweak the settings. In other words, write different text and play around with it. And that's where this refresh option can come in. Some of it can look really complicated. And that's a good thing because you can get exactly what you want or at least try to. And with any of these designs, remember when it's time to save, go up here to the top, there's a menu at the top and you can click the save button right here and you can also download. When I click the download option, it gives me an option here to click the download button. I can then export it as a PNG, a JPEG, or a PDF. I can also remove the background, which is a really nice feature. You'll notice it gives me the PNG feature only. That's what you want for a clear, clean background that's been removed, looks great on a t-shirt or a fine art print. I really hope you found this walkthrough helpful. I love using Creative Fabrica Studios and Spark AI is amazing and it's a great integrated part of Creative Fabrica Studio. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear if you've got a question or a comment or an opinion, that would be awesome. And here's another video on how you can supercharge 
your graphic design journey using Creative Fabrica.